Hey, what's going on there, YouTube world? Kai here with The Path of Life, coming at you with another video. We're starting a new series called Food and Firearms. Now, that sounds horrible. Guys with guns, pizza and pistols, bullets and butt cheeks. All right, maybe all of those suck. So maybe we're not doing a new series name, but what we are doing is going over to Rowdy's shooting range with the Canik TP9 SFX. Last week, I posted a video on modifying your six hour P226 magazines to fit a Canik TP9 SFX. And today we are going to see if those P226 magazines function as flawlessly as the native Canik magazines in the TP9 SFX. So if you're into that kind of stuff, stay right here on this video. So we have the TP9 SFX here, and we are going to be running some magazines through it. So I have the native Canik TP9 SFX magazine. I have the 20 round Metgar uh, P226, and then a P226 magazine put out by SIG. So we will get this set up here. I'll shoot the... Um, factory magazine first. This is, well, it's Metgar, but the one that's built is specifically for the Canik pistol here. We'll shoot this first. Get this loaded up, and we'll go to town. Ran all 20 rounds just fine. Okay. So now moving on to Metgar uh, 6 hour P226 magazine. My assumption is, is that this is going to run clean, but we will find out. Function in here. This round got shoved up under the lip of the feed ramp. So we had one hiccup on that magazine. One hiccup, and it might have been me limp wrist in the gun, honestly. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if anything else happens, if there's any other issues. That was the first time running that magazine. Now running the six hour P226 magazine that's put out by SIG, and we'll see if this guy runs. Ran the rest of them just fine. So not really sure what that problem was. We will keep firing and see if we have that problem again. I just loaded up the Metgar um, P226 magazines. All 20 out that time just fine.
So this time I have just the 20 rounders all lined up here. So I've got the two Canics and the two Six, and we're gonna go through them and do an accuracy uh, test at seven yards, nothing crazy, um, and just see how the groups and groupings are from there. So on the tops, we'll go with the Canic, and the bottoms will go with the Six. This here is the first magazine. Decent grouping at seven yards. And then this is the uh, first of the 226 magazines. So I pulled one, two, three, four off out of the group. Uh, this is the second of the Canic magazines. And yeah, pretty tight group there with a couple of flies. Um, and then this is the last group. Now, shooting 80 rounds in a row like that you get a little bit jittery a little bit so I was pulling these I definitely felt those go um, so you know the bulk of the group right in here ultimately I wouldn't say that uh, those groupings have anything to do with the magazines at all didn't have any misfires uh, failures to feed or anything like that coming out of here and I was running three different types of ammunition kind of intermixed in these magazines the whole time. So, not too shabby. All right, now I've got more ammunition in the bag here. Because ammunition goes stale once you open it, it goes bad, we gotta, we gotta use the rest of this. guys I just got back to the house with the Canic TP9 SFX and uh, I guess it's time for me to deliver my final thoughts um, particularly with the uh, SIG P226 magazines now that I have range tested that um, and honestly so I had one hiccup out of about 150 rounds that I fired through these magazines across three different ammunition manufacturers. So I don't know if that issue was an ammunition related issue, if it was a magazine related issue, or if it was a gun related issue. This firearm, I have only put about 400 rounds through this Canic so far. So um, at that point, that was the fifth or sixth round that I shot through one of these magazines. So, you know, probably, I had probably shot around 250 uh, rounds through this gun at that point. Um, that was the first malfunction or failure to feed that I had had. Um, so, all in all, I, I don't see that as a, a huge issue as of now. Um, I will be using this gun in some competitions and doing a lot of drills and range time and stuff like that here in the next 
a little while so um, and I will be using it with these magazines so if there's any other issues that come up I will be doing an update to this video I'll let you guys know if there are any other issues that come up with these magazines and running these magazines all in all though I am really impressed with this gun in general I don't know that I'm quite ready to do my review on this gun. I am really impressed with this gun so far. There are some adjustments that I want to be doing. Um, for me, it is consistently shooting just a little bit off, and so I need to do a little bit of adjustment on my sights here just to um, get everything solidified, and I might actually even change out these Warren Tactical Sights. Everybody talks up these Warren Tactical Sights, but they're not my favorite. They're not the greatest for me. So uh, I think I might switch out those sights, get it all sighted in uh, before I do my full review. But um, yeah, I really like this this gun. I'm glad that I was able to make these SIG P226 magazines work in it because I just had them laying around and I wasn't going to be getting another P226. So yeah, if like me, you happen to have some SIG P226 magazines just laying around and you don't have a P226 to run them through, then you can do the modification like I did in the video. I will link it up. Um, and make these things work for you. All in all, I'd say that today was a success with the test of how these magazines run. Like I said, I'll update you if anything crazy happens in the next little while while I am using this in competitions and at the range and doing some drills and practices and stuff like that. So we will definitely be seeing more of this gun as they continue to modify, customize, and review it. So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so that you can be apprised when we come out with more videos. Also, don't forget to give this video a like, a share, and check out some of our other videos on this channel, The Path of Life. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Make it a great day. Peace out.